Life as we know it with Tom Walton. Safety belts in cars and trucks have been standard equipment now for decades in this country. Federal law mandates they be installed and state law mandates that we use them and buckle up. But way too many of us apparently never got the memo. The statistics about the use or non-use of safety belts is staggering to the point of disbelief. Millions of Americans still do not consistently use their vehicle safety belts, or as we used to call them, seat belts. Consequently, on this long Fourth of July holiday weekend, someone, somewhere, will die in a car or truck accident because the safety belt wasn't buckled. Will it happen here in Ohio, where non-compliance with safety belt use has actually dropped to its lowest level since 2005? The Ohio Department of Public Safety says that Ohioans' compliance has declined from 84% in 2021 to 80% in 2022. How does that stack up against the rest of America? Well, the news is not good. Ohio remains below the national safety belt use rate of 91%. Obviously, only 91% nationally is still not something to be proud of, but it sure beats 81%. Here's another number that should shock you. In 2021, nearly 12,000 unbuckled passenger vehicle occupants were killed on America's roads. Unbelted deaths comprise nearly two-thirds of all traffic fatalities. A safety belt survey by the Ohio Traffic Safety Office determined that truck drivers are even worse than automobile drivers in complying with the law. The compliance rate was just 76% for heavy trucks, although it bumped up slightly, among drivers of light trucks to 78%. This decline is occurring even as many states, 34 of them, have made driving without buckling up a primary offense, meaning a law officer no longer has to observe some other violation, such as speeding, before he can legally stop and cite a driver for a safety belt violation. Sorry to report that Ohio is not one of the 34, even though evidence nationally shows that traffic deaths decrease when the offense moves from secondary to primary. The evidence is indisputable that safety belts save lives. In 2022, 527 people were killed in Ohio traffic accidents while not using their belts. Yes, some would have died even if belted in, but many, if not most, would still be with us today if they had taken the time to protect themselves. Although the survey apparently didn't identify offenders by age group, I'm going to assume that younger drivers are the primary offenders. People of my age group, retirees in other words, tend to buckle up without so much as giving it a thought. Some younger and newer drivers do not. Of course, it's wrong to paint with too broad a brush. I had an elderly uncle who lost his life in a traffic crash when he was thrown from the car by the impact. Had he belted himself in, he would have had a much better chance of surviving. As our holiday weekend winds down, be careful out there. If you're listening right now in your car and you are not buckled in, what are you thinking? Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life.